Hi friends, welcome to Educator at JV channel. Today we will see objective questions on current affairs from various newspapers for the date of uh, 25th September 2021. So let us start the video. The first question is report on climate indicators and uh, sustainable development has been published by which institute? So among these, which institute has published the report on the name climate indicators and sustainable development? So the answer for this question is WMO. WMO full form is World Material Meteorological Organization. So World Meteorological Organization has published the Climate Indicators and uh, Sustainable Development Report. Next question. How many indicators how many indicators are studied for preparing the climate indicators and sustainable development report? So while preparing while preparing the report, how many indicators has been considered uh, for this report purpose? So there are seven indicators are used for preparing the climate indicators and sustainable development report. So these report these indicators are the first one is CO2 concentration, the second is ocean acidification, third one is global mean surface temperature, fourth is ocean heat, temp heat content, fifth is glacial mass balance, sixth is the sea ice extent, seventh is sea level rise. These are the seven indicators which have been studied thoroughly and prepared this report which is called Climate Indicators and Sustainable Development. So which institute has published this report? That is WMO, which is World Meteorological Organization. So next question, rising CO2 concentration, rising CO2 carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide concentration and increasing global temperatures if left, if left unchecked. So if you don't concentrate on these, would negatively impact efforts to combat climate change under which SDG, SDG goal. So this rising CO2 concentration and increase, increase in global temperatures will be affecting the environment and also the climate change. So under which SDG, SDG goal we have this climate related action. So the answer for this question is SDG goal 13. So we have total 17 SDG goals. So out of these, 13th goal says this climate action. So the remaining 17 goals, the first one is no poverty, second is for zero hunger. Likewise, we have around 17 goals as part of SDG, which is called sustainable development goals. So the next question is, recently, which ministry has launched the scheme for promotion of medical pox to support medical industry in line with Atmanirbhar Bharat. So as part of Atmanirbhar Bharat, there is a new scheme launched that is called promotion of medical pox in which medical equipments are manufactured. So which, in, which, man, which ministry has launched this particular scheme? So here we have options. Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers, Ministry of Home Affairs, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Ministry of Corporate Affairs. The answer for this question is Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers. So in this promotion of medical pox, these medical pox will be built wherein the medical equipments are manufactured. So this is one of the important questions. So please remember this. The next question is total financial outlay for the scheme of promotion of medical pox is how many crores? So we have option 700 crores, 4, 540 crores, 400 crores, 250 crores. The answer for this question is 400 crores. So 400 crores are outlaid for the financial year for the promotion of medical pox. The next question is maximum assistance under the 
promotion of medical fox scheme for one medical device part would be limited to how many crore rupees so for one medical device pack how many how many crore rupees are given as maximum limit is the answer for this question is 100 crores 100 crores are given as the maximum ceiling limit as a assistance as part of the promotion of medical parks the next question one of the first medical park which is named as meds park established by which state of the country so first medical park in the name of meds park is established by kerala in the country so kerala is the first state which has established this medical park wherein the medical devices will be manufactured so the next question is the botanical survey of india is the apex research organization under which ministry so botanical survey of india relates to related to the say greenery and plants and botan botanical information so this is concerned with the ministry of environment and forest and climate change so the next question is recently botanical survey of india which is bsi in its new publication that is plant discoveries 2020 has added how many number of new species to the country's flora so as part of plant discoveries 2020 new publication there are 267 new species has been added to the country's flora by botanical survey of india next question headquarter of the botanical survey of india institute located in which location so headquarters of botanical survey of india is located in kolkata so the next question is national service scheme awards were instituted by which ministry in 1993 and 1994 so national Service scheme awards are started in 1993-1994 on the occasion of Silver Jubilee year of the National Service Scheme. So, on the occasion of Silver Jubilee year of National Service Scheme in 1993-1994, National Service Scheme awards were instituted under Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports. Currently, for the 2019, we have 42 awards given by President Ramnath Kovind, sir. Next question is, recently, which university has created smallest ever human-made flying structure with an electronic microchip or microflyer? So, which university has created this smallest ever human-made flying structure? The answer for this question is Northwestern University. So, Northwestern University in United States has created the smallest ever human made flying structure with an electronic microchip by using by uh, by uh, following the design of maple plant the next question so this is for today's uh, session so if you like this video please like and share and subscribe this channel for more updates thank you thank you very much